It's a very electric city. There's a lot of people on a little tiny island. And um, <clears throat> I've actually felt a jolt. It's just in the air, you know. Hmm. Is that what's prodded you to tour again? That particular jolt of Manhattan? Well, I wanted to write again. There was a few years there where I wasn't writing like Ian Hunter. I was writing like any... Uh, it was eclectic. Um, and that was because I had the big place in the country and, you know, everything looked right, but it didn't work. I mean, I, I don't seem to be able to work unless I'm surrounded by filth <laughs> and in very small surroundings, you know. Mm -hmm. When I get it like that, it's fine. I start working again and it starts sounding like me again because that's I lived in a little place in London the first time, you know. And that works good for me. It doesn't work good for the wife, but it works good for me. Had a good thing going together at the end of Mata Hupu. We did, yeah, but business, uh, we had different labels and we had different managers. The labels we could have put up with, the managers are the most, like, egotistical idiots, you know. How do you get into such deals? I mean... How, the enthusiasm. Uh-huh. You know, um, I think, uh, I think people are a bit sharper these days i mean when for me i was just so so glad to be able to do what i was doing i, I didn't i didn't want to know about pieces of paper i didn't want to know about contracts i want to be a musician you know but you know as you find out you're going to be able to take care of uh, things like that see when we started we were working class we saw it, well, i'd never been in a chinese restaurant i'd never been in a taxi there was no chinese restaurants then <laughs> <laughs> there was no tax. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, we never had a lawyer. People say, get a lawyer. You know, we didn't even know yeah. what a lawyer was. Mm. And if we did know what a lawyer was, it was kind of like up there with dentists and doctors or something. We couldn't afford them. So, like, at that, in those days, you could sign some real ridiculous things. And usually, just before you went on to do the gig, mm. there's a lot of people there, and a guy would stick a bit of paper in front of your face, you know, and like that. So what is it about? Don't worry about it, we'll sort it out later, you know. Yeah, sort it out later, like, ten years later. <laughs>